This is a robotic exoskeleton that is used for gait training and rehabilitation. It allows patients who have had a spinal cord injury or stroke to get upright sooner and take higher dosages of steps and maximize gait training in an efficient manner. Okay. So what would you tell us a little bit about uh, in terms of how a patient like uh, put on, where is this in general, like usually how, how many people would, would they need to assist on that to, uh, I guess that, that would depend on their strength, right? So normally one to two PTs will help transfer a patient in. So a patient will sit right in the middle here. The legs will wrap around the patient and we'll strap them in. We have a backpack strap here that will help secure them even more so. And we'll uh, then allow them to go from a sitting position to a fully powered standing position. And would they need handheld the whole time or does that depend on their strength or is this what these uh, uh, loft strand crutches are for? We actually have a walker over here that we use. It's a little bit wider than a standard walker that will help patients with the weight transfer from a sitting to standing position. So it's fully powered, so they shouldn't need any assistance unless they have a weak arm, so maybe a therapist to support their arm to get them up, but the suit will fully power them upright. So does a suit have a reciprocating gait mechanism? Or so when you take a steps forward, how are they gonna be uh, stabilized um, to, you know, keep standing in a standing position without falling. So it does work with the reciprocal pattern. How it works is that the patient is responsible for weight shifting left and right and then meeting a trajectory target forward. So that when they go through the swing phase of gait, they've shifted their weight appropriately to then take a corrective step and repeat that process left and right, left and right. There's assistive motors at the knees and also, or excuse me, at the knees and at the hips to help with that. There are foot sensors here that provide real-time feedback thousands of times per second and how much assistance is actually being uh, provided to the patient. So this is the knee mechanism right here, right? Yes. Correct? Yes. That's the knee mechanism. This is a hip hip mechanism right here, right? Hip mechanism is right here. Uh -huh. And on the back, this is the user interface. It's powered off right now. <laughs> But this handheld controller is what we use to control the sit to stand and all of the uh, walking features. It's powered by two set or two uh, lithium ion batteries, one here and one here. Each battery is good for two to three hours of use, depending on the intensity of usage and can be recharged in 45 minutes. Now, can you rent uh, this uh, piece or this like, Medicare, Medicaid? So reimburse or pay, help pay for this for the patients this, who are qualified? This specific device is used in clinical settings only. Uh, there are other exoskeletons that are used for at home that some insurance companies will reimburse for, but that's still new. So typically hospitals will either rent, lease, or buy this exoskeleton outright. Yeah, that makes sense because I mean, this looks like a pretty expensive piece of equipment right here. So. All right, that's pretty neat. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Any other special features that we haven't discussed? The software is what makes this uh, this particular exoskeleton so intuitive. It, it provides whatever power a patient is able to contribute 
This exoskeleton will then provide the remaining power to ensure that each step is completed effectively and efficiently. And it can be adapted and changed on the fly so that you can have a, a variable amount of, of assist and usage with patients. It's, pretty, it's a pretty dynamic tool. Do you know what generation is this? Uh, this specific piece right here? This specific piece is a second generation exoskeleton. Uh -huh. The third generation uh, hopefully will be soon behind, but is still currently in the, the research phase. Okay. All right. Thank you for your help. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.